Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about sugar. In society, we are simply eating too much and we need to reduce sugar. Sugar has many effects on our health in many ways with overdoing it since the 1950s. Look at this dramatic increase over time that we have been consuming sugar. It has many effects on our health such as our liver fat, insulin resistance, weight gain, high blood pressure, heart disease, cancer, dementia, and diabetes are only a few examples. Whew. Now check out number four. And did you know high sugar consumption has an effect on our brain? Also, you may be one of the millions to one billion people possibly around the world who can potentially be a addict. I'm not talking about a drug addict, but a sugar addict. It's a vicious cycle and just repeats itself. I'll talk about this shortly in more detail. Bottom line people, we are having too much sugar. So what is sugar? Sugar is a substance from plants especially sugarcane and sugar beet. It's used as a sweetener in foods and drinks. It's refined into a white crystalline substance. It's the same process as flour is made. Flour is obtained through grinding and refining as sugar is. It has an effect on our bloodstream, insulin, and brain. Did you know that sugar is so addictive? It causes a supernatural release of dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is a chemical messenger that plays a role with how we move, what we eat, how we learn, and even being addicted to drugs or sugar. It makes us feel good, and we experience a mild high. Once this feeling subsides, we end up craving it again and again. Just like drugs, we build up a tolerance to the sugar, and end up needing more and more to produce that same high. Studies have revealed that sugar can be more rewarding and attractive than cocaine. Sweet rewards can substitute addictive drugs like cocaine. The brain chemistry of those addicted to drugs and sugar are the same. So what are the effects? Eating too much sugar will definitely jeopardize your health. Not surprisingly, people who consume the most sugar are by far the most likely to become overweight or obese. This applies to all age groups. One of the most important things you can do if you need to lose weight is to cut back on sugar consumption. Mood swings are a result of overcoming sugar. Evidence shows that high levels of sugar consumption can also have a negative effect on brain health to your psychological well-being from also feeling depressed to being lazy. Addiction issues is another problem. Dietitians and experts have stated that sugar is more dangerous than fat. Studies have shown that sugar is more addictive than cocaine. Lab rats were tested with cocaine and were addicted. When time came, they had a choice to select cocaine or sugar, and 94% of them chose sugar. Yes, our body is also affected. Having too much sugar will affect your teeth, gum disease, cavities, plaque, and tartar. No one wants this. Ah, bad breath. Oh, jeez. Bacteria is easily developed or reproduced more quickly from the wrong foods. So, if you want to attract the opposite sex, have a little bit less sugar in your diet. When it comes to your liver, added sugar is high in fructose, which can overload your liver. The thing with fructose is that it can only be metabolized by the liver. This is not a problem if we eat a little bit. The fructose will be turned into glycogen and stored in the liver until we need it. But if the liver is full of glycogen, eating a lot of fructose overloads the liver, forcing it to turn the fructose into fat. When this is repeated over time, this process can lead to a fatty liver and all sorts of serious problems such as heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and so on. Keep in mind that all of this does not apply to fruit. It is almost impossible to overeat fructose by eating fruit. So how is our brain affected? 
While different foods can have different effects on our brains and the hormones that control food intake, in one study, people drank either a fructose sweetened drink or a glucose sweetened drink. Afterwards, the fructose drinkers had much less activity and tired, hindering learning and memory by literally slowing down the brain. They also felt hungrier. Over time, because the calories from sugar aren't as fulfilling, this can translate into an increased calorie intake. Okay, premature aging is a result of overconsuming sugar. It reacts with protein, creating advanced glycogen end products, AGES. These substances cause skin to be wrinkled and cell structures to harden. If you think of the way arteries harden to cause coronary heart disease, a similar process takes place in the cells of the skin. Now, recent research shows a relationship with less sugar consumption that equals to a longer lifespan of 20 years more along with better skin aging. Less wrinkles when you do age if you consume less sugar. The way the cells in your body recognize and use sugar may speed up the body's aging process and make your skin look older. Oh no, acne. This was one of my least favorite things when growing up. Many common names, acne, zit, pimples, or how about pizza face? Did I mention sugar helps promote acne? Yes. Sugar aggravates two major causes of acne, hormones and inflammation. Now, this doesn't mean you have to obsess over sugar. An occasional soda or sugary snack is nothing to worry about but expect trouble if you eat them often. This is certainly a tough period for teenagers and young adults who are addicted to sugar. Bottom line, folks, it's all about balance and within moderation of things. All right, just some final thoughts. So, are you ready to break away from overconsumption with sugar? Will you be able to cut back from sweets? In the next video, I'll give you solutions and how to stop that addiction. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, take care, and see you on the next video. Thanks.